Hey guys, and welcome to CDI Week. We are now on the Saturday of CDI Week, and honestly, I have not been um, looking forward to playing this at all, if I'm completely honest. Link, the faces of evil. Yeah, I've really not been looking forward to playing this at all, because I... Unless you're super Legend of Zelda fan number one, I don't recommend playing this at all. I, I love the Zelda game so much, but this... This game is just dreadful. It's awful. We're going to do a new game. Because I had a quick play of it, and I got the CDI. So, uh, and I don't like it. Let's Gee, watch this awesome cutscene. Sure is boring around here. My boy, this piece is what all true warriors strive for. I just wonder what Ganon's up to. He's up to a lot, mate. He's done a lot of stuff. Your Majesty, Ganon and his minions have seized the island of Korodai. Hmm, how can we help? It is written, only Link can defeat Ganon. Great, I'll grab my stuff. There is no time, your this sword is, is enough. <laughs> how about a kiss, for luck? You've got to be kidding. I feel like they thought this was going to be like Squad Dragon Slayer, we are off. or something like that. Wow, what are all those heads? These are the faces of evil. Link's face. You must <laughs> conquer each. I guess I'd better get going. Here is the map. Oh, here comes Where the map. Where do you wish nice to go? transition, guys. Well, we have a look about, because that's that first level, that one. Have a look down here. There's another one, Goranu. If, if this place is actually called the faces of evil, why aren't the levels on the faces? That'd be an interesting mechanic, maybe. Well, I guess we'll start here. An old tinker, I think, is what it said. Uh, so here we go. We've got Zelda 2 graphics to an extent. And an uh, awesome season score. Compliments to Phillips. Damn it, I pressed the pause button. Or inventory button. It's oh damn it! I did it again. Um, yeah. So you can collect snowballs to <laughs> collect rupees. The the really weird thing about how you collect things is after you kill an enemy, they drop an item. Are you that? You hit it with a sword, and then you collect it. Let's go in this room and see if there's an NPC in here. Oh god, no! There's just a lot of enemies, and the whole blocking mechanic is a little bit. Because you can sit in the block position and block an attack and still manage to kill yourself. Look, well, like that. Just then. I literally just did it then. And I pressed the um, inventory button again. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm probably going to death. I've done it again. Well done, Ed. We're doing well here on Saturday on CDI Week. Yeah, see, like, exactly like that. I was in the crouch position, which is block. This is why I have a lot of problems with this game, because it's a little bit ridiculous. And all I get is a snowball, which I can get off any other enemy. See, like that. These stairs don't lead anywhere. I can't even jump on them. Alright. Sleeve! I really don't know what happened here for this game. I mean, Philips had the chance to make a good game to actually sell the Philips CDI. And what did they make? An awful game with awful cutscenes. I know, in retrospect, um, looking at the reviews at the time, they were really, like, you know, a lot of reviewers liked the, um, the cutscenes. They liked the voice acting. They all thought it was very good. But it's not. Especially after you've played um, Breath of the Wild with the voice acting in that game. And then compare it to this. I'm just wondering, what the hell were they thinking? Oh dear. Unpause. Unpause video. So yeah, the game... Damn it! And also, the collision detection in this game is dreadful. I mean, it's honestly awful. You can be fairly near an enemy and then be able to, um knock half of your heart off, or even kill you, instantly, like this, like, uh, 
Although a lot of the control um, errors might be down to me because the control I'm using, which I showed in one of the other videos, the D pad is extremely spongy. I mean, it's dreadful. And I refuse to use any of the other remotes because the other remotes are just TV remotes. And we're in the igloo, one guy. Oh no, it spawned another. Oh, and another guy. And conveniently, a stationary one that throws things. Right. Okay. Also, I have noticed another bug with the game. I don't know if it's a bug or it's actually a gameplay mechanic. Because if you collect certain items that die, you have to go back and get them. Oh, damn it. It's not always the case on every single level, but I always have to go back and double check just to make sure because obviously it has happened when I had a brief play uh, playthrough for, for the video. Now, I'm great. <laughs> like, I managed to block that boomerang just then, and I don't know how. I blocked it then. I don't understand. The, the controls are, are really wonky. <clears throat> this game is infamous, and I can see why. Oh. Uh, ow. 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 I'm dead. <laughs> Well, that ended quickly, didn't it? Um, that was amazing. <laughs> Some snow monkeys murdered me in the most dramatic fashion. See, now, this is another problem that we come to when we come back to the level. We've already killed all these enemies. We've already cleared them all out. And they didn't respawn really them when we playing the level. So why would we re-enter a stage do they respawn? Now, I'm going to go back and see if that key's still there, just to prove a point. If we can make it, though, without dying. So, okay, look, the key's gone. The key's gone, which means that we kept it in our inventory. Oh, damn it. Although, when I've played it before, and I've done exactly the same thing, um... The item has remained where it was, where I picked it up after I've died. So I don't know if it's just to certain levels or if it's just my my CGI personally that's you know doing the ball way because I don't quite know what it's doing. But I just find it really weird. <laughs> Sometimes even when you hit the enemy, I've done it several times already. Is when you hit the enemy, they manage to hit you as they die. I feel like this game was just quickly rushed to market because they had the license. They just quickly rushed it out, you know, to make sure it's done something. You know, let's make some money, sell the console, that type of thing. Oh look, I managed to block- Okay, I can't kill the monkeys there. Oh, I'm dead. Great! <laughs> well, the monkeys are impervious to anything I have on me. Which therefore means I need to find an item within the level. Let's talk to this lady. How do we talk? Oh, I forgot, we got, we've got to attack. Wait. The attack button. There we go. Help. Help! Ganon froze the fountain. I'm stuck. I'm sure you'll be off. You know, you'll be fine. Just a little bit of frostbite. At least you don't have to deal with impervious monkeys hanging on a frosted cliff ledge. Nope, I'm dead. There's like four of them. There is no way I'm getting up that hill. You know what? I'm going to look at the other levels now. I feel that would be more beneficial to you as the viewer to see what the other levels are like. <laughs> I just really cannot recommend any of these games. Not even for the meat value. Um, like I said in a YouTube comment who asked about where I got the um, CDIs from. I am not the doors locked. Uh, my friend Steven managed, you know, to get me one for a very cheap price. Which is also nice. I'm dead again. But I managed to get a lot of the rare games, like um, 
both the Zelda, or oh, the, the first two Zelda titles, Hotel Mario, Dragon's Lair 2, and Space Age. So, you know, there's a lot better games on the CDI than these two. Or this one. And its sequel. So let's go to... Go uh, I clicked the button too quickly. <laughs> Right, this should be fun. Are we all having fun yet? Yay! It's the same level with just different enemies and different music. This is great. I'm having the best time of my life. I'm a huge Legend of Zelda fan and this game is just dreadful. I can't, I, can't, I honestly can't even recommend it to anyone. Not even for the prices that people usually charge for it as well, which is, like, ridiculous. I mean, like, the price of the game can get you a CDI. Or at least, I don't know, I haven't looked at the stats of the, um, you know, sort of the price range and how they go for. For all I know, it's changed, because the last I heard is that Nintendo were thinking of porting this, uh, Wand of Gamelon and Hotel Mario. Oh, I'm dead again! Hotel Mario to um, the Switch. But that's the last I heard. I don't know if that's true or factual or not. I know they did it in April Fool's joke. But um, the last I heard, they actually were thinking about it. Let's talk to this guy. Can we talk to him? Lamp oil. Rope. Bombs. You want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rubies. I don't have enough. <laughs> oh, damn it. I attacked Lamp him again. Oil. Let's, uh, let's get off him. Oh, it's the inventory again. It's really weird. The control scheme on this is if you hold down and press jump, it opens the inventory, which is really weird. You'd think it'd be something like start or select, but not in this game. Right, let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I obviously had to walk out the door again. Well, anyway, guys, that was um, Link. Faces of Evil for the CBI. I hope you liked it. Comment, like, and subscribe and have a discussion down below. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!